Okay, hey y'all, it is day two of 118 before I leave. And with that being said, I wanted to check in daily to give tips, I guess, and updates of what I am doing. So far, it's pretty good in terms of managing my time. I have made it my business to log off from work, um, not stay over, not even let it just check back in, no. Log off and get started with my personal to-do. And so far, that has been today, um, making sure my calendar of things to do every weekend is laid out on my, every personal calendar in the house. Um, as you can tell, if you've ever paid attention, I keep huge post-its on the wall. That is African Free Trade Agreement. That is for the Zulu language. But I'm not heading south for a minute until the variants get um, underway. And you can see behind me the pals and organized mess that I have going on. I've already started taking off the big art and photos. So like that used to be my sorority image. Um, the huge oversized art and photos that I'm keeping have already went home um, and packed away safely. So there's no real problem. The transit there was more problematic. For now, um, I checked in today for the movers. Um, yeah, to get the things moved just four blocks down the road. I didn't hear back from him. So I will follow up at the end of the week, hoping maybe his number changed or the text didn't work. At any rate, I'll reach out to the official number, get the rates and try and book something. Father's Day is my goal to have all the furniture that I'm selling to family moved into their place and organized. <laughs> number two, I've already reached out to a friend who painted my walls, like accent walls downstairs and upstairs. So that way he can put it back at the original color. Um, but he doesn't want to confirm a date. He's flaky. But it's like, look, anytime you want to show up between now and Father's Day, feel free to do so. Even if I'm not here, all the supplies, the paint will be available. And he was willing to go buy the paint and get the right colors and everything. But I got it from the building. But who knows? There's new management. They may give me new trouble. Um, but at the end of the rate, end of the day, my goal is to keep things moving. No matter what pops up. Even if we somehow find out we don't get the paint, I'll just pay them through the security deposit or whatever to put everything back. Because it's a total of one, two, three, four, four accent walls, but it's really strong colors. Like the um, second bedroom is a deep dark burgundy. Um, apparently, I've already made a scheduled plan for how to sell things. So I'll use the burgundy wall to sell new with tag items, take photos, post it online. And I'll use the orange walls for things that are like the, just the kitchen, the dining area. Please buy it. Just get it out the way. And the blue walls for these ain't new. They've been used. They've been worn. They've been utilized. But make a deal. Make a deal. Make an offer. Please. So I also have a goal. I know I would like to recoup my airfare and my travel insurance for repatriation to bring my body back. Um, talking to my sorority sister today, she made me sound like some old, oh, the Southern black folks we grew up with. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I wasn't worried about my health care or things like that. I just pay out of pocket. Once I'm there, who cares? But I learned today, I actually, my plan for my health insurance plan through work will cover international visits through the ER. It has to be an emergency. But she was like, yeah, how does that work? What did you, I was most worried about my body being shipped back. God forbid if I die, that's it. I don't want my family being held hostage with a 20 or $30,000 bill. When look, the ticket was only 800. I'm dead. Just ship me at the bottom of the plane and get me back to America. It's not that crucial. When she heard those numbers, she even laughed. But I was like, everybody seems to remember the couple that Tyler Perry helped in uh, Mexico. It was 20000 to get them out of the hospital and back in America. And so it's like for 30000 we could all fly to Africa and have a memorial for you every day, every year until we die. I was like, yeah, okay, it's kind of funny. It's not true, but you definitely can build a house. <laughs> and they could show every year, memorialize me. But um, that's a big thing for me. I don't want that to be an issue. I don't know why it matters so much, but I do want to be buried in Louisiana where people know me. I am not to be cremated under no circumstances. I mean that. 
I want my full body intact in some place where people will maybe someday come see me or knock my head stone over. I don't know. But I don't want to be far from home or my father and people like that. So I don't know. Maybe it's the kid in me. Maybe it's the familiar allergy. But I, I don't agree with being buried far from people who know me and what home is. Plus, I've always said that. I'm going to die. Look, if I can, I'll arrange it. You know, I know I can't and I don't have these powers. But I would like to die in my home, um, surrounded with those that love me in Louisiana. Of course, I can't plan that. But at the end of the day, I can make sure my family is not stressed about it. And what was so funny is ultimately the only thing I didn't say is, well, who got the body? <laughs> I don't even worry about what funeral home will take me or how that I get managed. But I essentially sounded like one of them old people in our lives. So, yeah, that's the update for day two of 118. See how it goes.